everyone. So we are in between patients and a lot of you have asked for me to do a talk on skincare, particularly a nighttime skincare regimen. So it's one of my favorite topics. So in the evenings, I really don't like to have a lot of different steps. I start with a very gentle cleanser and I really like our Purify. It gets your skin clean without over irritating it. It also has some green tea polyphenols which is very soothing if you're on an anti-aging skincare regimen because a lot of anti-aging products tend to be kind of irritating to the skin. So I like the cleanser to just clean the skin without having any harsh chemicals. So this one in particular is one of my favorite ones. So after cleansing, my second step is using a Retin-A because Retin-A, in my opinion, is one of the best anti-aging ingredients. It's been shown to not only stimulate collagen, but it also helps renew your skin cells. By renewing your skin cells, it's really gonna help with fine lines and, and fine wrinkles. It's not gonna help with the deep folds, but it does a great job, which is brightening the skin and helping with fine lines and wrinkles. And a lot of people have a hard time using prescription Retin-A because they complain of redness, dryness, peeling, and that's all expected if you're overusing the Retin-A. You might wanna cut down on the strength or go to a medical grade Retin-A, which is a step up above the drugstore brand, but not as strong as a prescription. It also matters when you apply the Retin-A. So if you're putting it on right after you wash your face, it's going to be a lot more irritating than if you wait a little bit of time before applying your Retin-A. So I really like our um, Retinol, which is a 0.5. It's called Lift and Renew. I like this particular formulation because it also has caffeine and green tea polyphenols, which is great for redness if you do get a little irritation from retinol to retin-A. And what's nice about having it in a pump is it tells you exactly the amount that you should use, which is just one pump all over at bedtime. We have a different formulation of retinol for under the eyes, and this is called Eye Glow, but it has the retinols in addition to arnica and peptides that help with dark circles. Again, I just like to do one pump and just kind of go around and, and dab under the eyes and, and rub it in. And it works really well, the combination of the two. So because anti-aging ingredients make your skin peel and feel dry, I do like to use a moisturizer. I really like this moisturizer. It's called Norice. It's our practice moisturizer. And I like it is one, it comes in a pump, so it makes it easy to measure how much you're gonna use. It's also formulated with ceramides, which are great at repairing the skin barrier. It has hyaluronic acid, which is a very great hydrator of the skin. And it has a lot of different peptides in it. And peptides are what make up collagen and they're smaller and they can actually penetrate down into the skin. If you're using a moisturizer that's made up of these great peptides and growth factors, then those are the ones that are the building blocks of collagen even. So what do you do about neck and chest? Well, the retinols are great for the face, but they should not be used on the neck and chest because a lot of times they cause irritation on that type of skin. This is a new product from Mont Research. It is called Revitalizing Desire Sculpt Serum. And it's been formulated with ingredients that help stabilize telomeres, which are important in anti-aging. So you just pump the bottle comes out like this and so it goes on real soft and nice and so I do like this for the neck and chest at nighttime. 